carefully, I placed the mouse in the arena, sealing its fate. It was only a matter of time before the ants would find it and I couldn't say what would happen then. The ants circled the opening of a new arena and the smell of the mouse must have also spread through the tube into the old enclosure. Step by step, the ants dared to venture closer to the new arena and I was grateful for my choice of transparent tube connectors, even though focusing the camera was quite tricky. The mouse lay right near the passage and as soon as the ants explored the new arena, the food should be found quickly. The first ant reached the stairs and carefully searched everything. It had scented something, but it didn't let its curiosity overwhelm it. The closer the ant came, the more ants also found their way to the mouse. Soon it would happen. And when it did, you could immediately recognize the moment the mouse came into view. The mandibles opened and the mouse was inspected directly. Slightly difficult to film, but still visible, was how the ant circled the mouse and assessed its size. It looked everywhere and nibbled a bit here and nibbled a bit there. The immediate surroundings of the mouse were also explored. Are there other enemies here? Is there anything here to bury the mouse with to hide it from others? Are there probably ants from the same colony here? A worker must consider all of these before reporting the finds to the rest of the colony. 